Welcome one, welcome all to the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado, where the Quebec City Stallions go up against the Colorado Avalanche. They have a franchise best 18 game winning streak right now on the line up against Mackenzie Blackwood, Nathan McKinnon and the Colorado Avalanche. In net for the Quebec City Stallions is their starter, Philip Gustafson, who has a fantastic winning record, but not really the greatest save percentage this season. Darren McDonald playing back in in front of his net very well very very well here we go Cameron McDonald in front Timmons oh and it's stolen by Ethan Bryant and Ethan Bryant's got some wheels here we go over to Matt Siemens back to Bryant and it's a big save by Mackenzie Blackwood and he's gonna cover that puck up Ryan Chisholm on the faceoff. he is going to get the win Patrick McDonald in front of the net big shot what a save by Mackenzie Blackwood and there's Lucas Raymond He's caught sleeping out behind his own net, Christian Willannon, who finally cracked the NHL roster at, I believe, 26 years of age. That one gets across to the other side of the net. Big save by Phil Gustafson, and it's loose in front of the net. Josh Phillips trying to play back, playing defensively, and it's going to get up to Christian Willannon, who's just going to clear that one down the ice. He is unsuccessful in winning it. Big shot, big save by Gustafson, who is going to hold that one for the whistle. Mark Boisvenu is actually back on their roster and you know he's got this weirdly powerful shot which he just takes and it's swallowed up by Mackenzie Blackwood. The type of penalty killer that Boisvenu is is just a very offensive one. UC Tarkey is actually making an argument as the number two overall pick at this uh, most recent draft. He's making an argument that he could win the Calder Trophy this season. That one goes off a of man. It's behind the net. Uh, Nathan McKinnon uh, and Matt Siemens. Uh, he takes that one away. Back to UC Tarkey. Whoop, back to Boivinu. Boivinu is just trying to get moving. Uh, another back pass there, and we're just killing that clock off. And UC Tarkey staying back on defense. Oh, Gabriel Landeskog coming in the zone. UC Tarkey plays smart. Oh, on his, on his point, and he's stuck in front of that net. And he's going to pass that one out. Maybe a risky uh, little pass there. But Boivinu gets it up to Josh Norris, who's in the zone. Big crossover pass. Is going to sauce that one up to the superstar Thatcher Lewis uh, who gets it across to Matt Siemens what a goal what a pass by Thatcher Lewis for his 300th career point and Matt Siemens is trying to end the drought that he's been on this season has had no trouble scoring but has had significant trouble producing points this year great pass by the kid Thatcher Lewis 23 years old this is one of the youngest teams in the NHL but they just found the formula that works. Who's on the ice for the second time tonight. Big slap shot, nice stop. And he is going to keep that one away. Out in front and Matt Siemens with another chance to score a goal in this game already. Matt Siemens has absolutely taken control of this game. And here comes the young kid, Cody Zinger. Cody Zinger, who a lot of people said was not NHL ready at the beginning of this season. Gets it across to Darren McDonald with a big shot and it's just wide of the net. And Ryan Pulock is going to rush in and keep this one alive. Gets it across to no one. It's still in front of Pulock and he just cannot get that one past Mackenzie Blackwood. Who then gets it up to Josh Phillips who gets it to Michael McLeod in front with a big shot and a nice stop. Timmons, oh my goodness. Timmons gets his head taken off. Oh my goodness. It's a five minute penalty that the Quebec City Stallions now have to kill and Josh Phillips, one of their number one penalty killers, is leaving the game for the first time in his entire career. Not known as a dirty player. What can they accomplish here? Oh my God, and Josh Norris, it takes a weird bounce and he's got a breakaway, pulls the goalie off the post and it is an easy shorthanded goal for the Quebec City Stallions really early in this five minute penalty kill. Late in the first period, it is Josh Norris's ninth goal of the season. He, after actually kind of struggling last year to stay uh, at the top of his game after injuries and poor discipline, he is kind of having a bit of a resurgence this year for the Quebec City Stallions and you know that they are happy with that. He is signed. Definitely a capable player. And Kale McCarr gets knocked down before Josh Norris gets another breakaway. Can he get in there? Whoop. And no, he's not going to be able to put that one in. Nathan McKinnon entering the zone, entering the zone. He's just, oh my goodness, he just walks right in, does whatever he wants. And Josh Norris is just going to flick that one down the ice. Now continuing on in the second period, the Quebec City Stallions are out shooting the Colorado Avalanche 10-8 after one period. But... 
The Colorado Avalanche still have about two minutes left on that power play. Pulock trying to play smart. Oh, and a nice stop by Gustav. Penalty killing maneuver gets it up to Matt Siemens, who already has a goal in this game. A crossover, and it almost sneaks through, but Boisvenu just can't put it in the net. Oh, Lucas Ramon gets absolutely destroyed by Matt Siemens. And you see Tarky playing back, trying to play smart in front of his own net. Oh, bad little pass to Cody Zinger that doesn't get through. There's Raymond. Raymond with a big shot, and that one just goes wide. And you see Tarky, who just absolutely slashes in this penalty kill. Nice play by Christian Wallan. A nice shot and a nice save. Oh my goodness. And Nathan McKinnon gets a wide open rebound and he just cannot put it in the net past Philip Gustafson. Pulls a goaltender off the post, but it's no good. Oh, and Bowers is going to go on a clear breakaway for Miles. Oh my goodness. And a nice defensive play and this puck cannot find the back of the net. Lassie Thompson, big shot. That one went off a person in front. Uh, out front, and it's a shot by Pulock that's no good. Uh, gets it across. Patrick McDonald finds the captain, Ryan Chisholm, who makes it a 3 0 game. Patrick McDonald has been really struggling to put goals into the net this se uh, for the just for the last couple of games this season. And Ryan Chisholm has really picked it up. Beautiful pass, cross crease. Goaltender had no chance. And the big captain, Ryan Chisholm, who has that really quick, excellent release, puts in his 16th goal of the season. And Ethan Bryant is just going to slow this game down, hold on to the puck, and he's going to get that one up to Mark Boisvenu, who, big pass, finds Ethan Bryant, who just throws it on the net. But it's a huge save for the goaltender, and now the top line for the Quebec City Stallions is going to hit the ice. Just trying to play that defensive game in front of the net. And it's a big shot and a big stop. It's loose in front and Darren McDonald runs into his own goaltender. Oh my goodness. They're getting it back to the point. There's Ethan Bryant. Ethan Bryant playing deep. And Cameron McDonald steals the puck. But it's stolen back by Raymond who just can't be knocked off it. It's back around behind the net. And Shabbat's having trouble. He's having trouble collecting it. And he's being tied up. They're going to kick that one over to Matt Siemens. Matt Siemens gets it up to Cameron McDonald. But Cameron McDonald gets it up to Ethan Bryant. Ethan Bryant, he's slowing, he's slowing up, uh, tries to get the puck across, and Josh Norris into the zone, just cannot get the shot off, and it looks like the Colorado Avalanche are definitely starting to up that pressure here late in the second period, who brings it back into the Quebec City zone. Lassie Thompson trying to stay back and play that defense, trying to play that defensive game, bad angle shot, and Ryan Chisholm's getting tied up by his own guys here. Over to Patrick McDonald, who leaves that one behind in order to avoid a big hit. And here comes Thatcher Lewis. He's got all the wheels in the world, but you know he doesn't really have too much in the way of energy. Out in front of Patrick McDonald, but they just run out of time on that clock here to end the second period of play. So the Quebec City Stallions, who have been in the penalty box for a huge chunk of this game, who are now on the ice to start the third period, being outshot 20 Three to 19 and here is Ethan Bryant just trying desperately to get free and Thomas Shabbat gets that one up to Cameron McDonald they seem to be really in an attacky kind of mood right now gets it across to Matt Siemens who puts it wide Bowen Byram gets knocked off the puck effectively and here comes Miko Rantanen into the zone to Nate McKinnon and the shots wide Third second line of this team Ryan Chisholm in front of his own net big shot nice stop plays the puck out and Thomas Shabbat cannot handle the puck. Ryan Chisholm just playing out in front of his own net makes a nice play and he's gonna get that puck to Patrick McDonald who somehow avoids a hit. Can he find Thatcher Lewis on the other side of the net? He can and it's in and it's four to nothing for the Quebec City Stallions who absolutely will not be defeated in the last over a month. Thatcher Lewis crushes 300 career points, puts in another goal for his 21st of the season, and I believe Ryan Chisholm gets the secondary assist on that one. The big man Ryan Chisholm going for his 300th assist, I believe, in the National Hockey League. Cody Zinger uh, got tied up a little bit there. Oh my goodness, it's loose in front, and Lassie Thompson somehow manages to get the puck back in his own zone, but the Colorado Avalanche put it in the net. To, uh, to drop the lead from 4-0 to 4-1. to one. It's now a three-goal game here in the third period. Philip Gustafson down in the butterfly doing the only thing he could do. 
It just was not meant to be. It's not a shutout kind of night for Philip Gustafson, who still, even now, has been pretty much the most solid player for the Quebec City Stallions. Down the ice, it's Cody Zinger who takes a hit to make a play, gets the pass in front, it takes a weird bounce, and it's just loose in front of that net. Clear goal in the net, and can UC Tarkey continue his stellar offensive play? Big shot by Cameron McDonald, and then he trips his man in front of the net by the Colorado Avalanche. Raymond, oh my goodness, over. I believe that was Nazem Kadri, it sure was. Nazem Kadri now in front of the net and the Colorado Avalanche are really flying right now. Oh, he got that one back to the back to the point. I don't think that was initially his plan, but Philip Gustafson still coming up strong, who for a big man is surprisingly fast. Ooh, nice play, oh, what a shot. And Nazem Kadri is gonna put this in the net to cut the lead to two. In the third period, his sixth goal of the season on the power play. And the dreaded, what a play, what a block. Oh my goodness, Lassie Thompson, it's loose in front and Nathan McKinnon puts it in the net again. And the Colorado Avalanche, just like that, are back within one. Nice stop by Philip Gustafson, but Nathan McKinnon is just going to put that one past him to make this a one goal game. Thompson over to Raymond in front to Jenner. Jenner with a big shot and it just goes wide of the net. They're just trying not to chase, trying to play smart. Uh, he's going to kick that one around his own net. There's Lassie Thompson. Lassie Thompson gets it up to Cameron McDonald. Huge pass and he's just going to cut in, take the slapper off a leg and Matt Siemens who just tries to steal that one in the offensive zone. They are really now, suddenly, again, the Colorado Avalanche are really struggling to control this thing, and Ethan Bryant looks like he maybe wants to make a pass, but instead just takes that shot on net. They got their fourth line out here. You know Mark Boivinu was probably looking for a hit on that one. It gets around the net. There we go. Back towards the point. Zinger in front. Boat in. Nice shot. Nice stop by Philip Gustafson, and he just does not cover the puck up. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, right in front of the net, Christian Wallan, and he gets it back, Timmons, big shot, big save by Gustafson, and he's going to play it again, he's going to play that one again, up to Mark Boivinu, who just is, is having a lot of trouble with his speed right now, and there's Bodain, who's got just no juice left at all, up to Christian Wallan, and who's just going to fire it deep in the zone, and there's Michael McLeod, a phenomenal hockey player in uh, all aspects of the game. And he's going to take this puck and he's just flying with it. He's going down the ice yet again. He has been absolutely sickeningly held off the board as of late. Mackenzie Blackwood going to get that one all tied up before that top line. Aaron McDonald gets it up to Cameron McDonald into the zone. Big shot and it's way wide. Anderson is not going to lose that. Oh my God, it's sitting on the goal line and it's in and it's going to count for Cameron McDonald. Oh my goodness, is that Vakaninen just putting that puck into his own net and just gifting a goal? Oh my goodness, he puts it on his own goal line. You can see Ethan Bryant going towards that puck like he was going to poke check it into the net and it looks like the Quebec City Stallions, their winning streak is not going to end at 18. And then Vakaninen, who just put the puck into his own net, is not going to make the same mistake. And it is a huge win for the Quebec City Stallions to get their 19th consecutive victory. What an absolute story this team has been as of late. Thank you so much for tuning into this one. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. There's new videos coming every single day. And I will see you guys for Quebec City's next game. There are links in the description where you can follow all sorts of things like a Facebook page online for this YouTube channel and for the Quebec City Stallions as a whole. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. And until next time, as always, have a good one, guys.